evening, everyone! My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Of course it's Lumber Tycoon 2. I don't tell Code ever does anymore. But I actually do play other video games as well. Uh, usually not on camera, not on film, but if this is your first video that you've ever seen of me, hello and welcome. Um, hit the like, comment, subscribe button. Uh, I think that's what I'm supposed to call out. I don't know. After five years of doing this, I, I, I don't know. Is it five years? Six years? I don't remember. I started 2007, 2005. I don't remember the exact time or whatever, but, um, I, oh, 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 okay, there we go. Um, but I do remember that it's been a while. So, um, I need to do the Zumbo wood. Zum, Zumbo. Zombie. Zombie wood. <clears throat> um, so we're just going to be building up a storage today. Um, a turn and a rotate. Doot, doot. And we're going to be building the wall, just like that. Uh, that was not political, by the way. I am not a Trump supporter, just saying. Oh, don't take that the wrong way, either. I'm also not a Hillary Clinton supporter or any kind of political party supporter of any kind. Um, in fact, I kind of stay out of all politics. And um, a lot of you know that I was... Uh, I am a Marine. Once a Marine, always a Marine. There's no no change in that. Uh, I've went through the Crucible. I, I did my time. And uh, that is also one of the reasons that I feel so strongly about the politics that I do. Not just that, you know, oh, he doesn't care about the community or the politics. Or, no, it's not that at all. I fought for you guys to have the ability to vote. Um, in fact, I, I feel very strongly about having the ability to vote. Uh, but also on top of that, I also feel very strongly that it is my choice and my right to not want to vote and to stay out of the politics. That's one of my reasons. Um, I never bring it up. I, n I never like usually mention it, but I mean, everything within the last couple of weeks has just been exploded. And I mean, they've, I've been called all kinds of names and all kinds of things. And I just wanted to say that I don't really care about what your political stance is. I, n I never have. It's not something new. It's not something that, oh, he's just doing this for the, for the time. No, it's always been like that. Just, just to get that out of the way. <clears throat> well, then why did you serve in the military? Because it was a really good job. And because I wanted to go in on the, uh, the buddy program with one of my buddies. And I didn't have any plans for college. I didn't think I was smart enough to actually get into college, which was totally false. I didn't realize how smart I was until after going to college and after the Marine Corps. Which, by the way, <laughs> which is it's a pretty profound realization when you're spouting off mathematical equations and programming computer tactics and everyone around you is like, what? <laughs> Sorry. It, it's true. I mean, I didn't realize how smart I was until I was doing college and, and everyone around me was struggling with problems or struggling with homework and I was getting stuff done in like 30 minutes, something that would be a, like a two hour lab, I got done, just bro, done. And I I kind of like always thought that back in high school and stuff like that, but people always told me, well, you have ADHD, you have a learning disability. Really? I, I, I have a learning disability, I have an, an LD. So I was actually placed into a special class where I could go and get my homework done and have special help and stuff like that. Even the teacher, after I was in that class, was like, what are you doing here? I'm like, I don't know. I, I seem to be struggling with my grades. Why? Because you weren't turning in your homework. Well, that makes sense. You know, you if I, if I wanted to, I could have done the homework. And then today, like, well, not today. I, I kind of knew this from previous times, but today it kind of got pointed out and, and revisited that um, when you have attention deficit hyper disorder, ADHD, not ADD, ADHD, the one that makes you like, 
And if you, if you know anybody that has actual ADHD, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about somebody that's like, oh, I had an ADHD moment. No, I'm talking about somebody that you live with constantly that has ADHD. Trust me, there are varying degrees of ADHD. And I wanted to make this perfectly clear. There is this thing, it's called executive disassociation disorder or something like that. And it's something very common and something that us ADHD people do. <clears throat> when we know there is something that we have to do, our brain kicks in and says, you can't do that. You, you don't have the ability to do that. It's impossible. I don't remember the exact naming of it or what the exact thing is, but that is very much a real thing. And one of the uh, one of the things that you have to learn when you have ADHD is how to control that. How to recognize when your brain says, you can't do this, and you realize, no, no, that's the ADHD. I, I recognize that, and I can do this. That's when your ADHD brain, brain will kick in and be like, oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. You, yeah, my bad, my bad, you, you're, you can do this, you can do this. And that's when you can actually start using your ADHD for superpowers. Uh, as in wanting to learn a new programming language. A lot of people with ADHD um, are really good with numbers and with memory and with math. And you don't realize it. In fact, uh, if I, I think I have a video on how to improve your memory. And it's a, it's a trick because everybody learns differently. One of the things that you've learned that a lot of people have learned. Now, granted, this is more of like an Americanized thing, but if I were to say, take me out to the... A lot of you just now said, ball game. Why? Why? Who, who, taught, who told you you needed to learn that? You know? Why was that a learned thing? They didn't teach that in school. They didn't do anything with that. But here is a piece of information that technically I just hacked out of your brain. And you know, take me out to the ball game, take me out to the crowd, buy me some penis and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if we never get back to this root, 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 home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. That's the take me out to the ball game song that is implanted inside your brain that nobody ever taught you or said you need to learn this, but you for some reason have it inside your brain. A piece of information that was locked away that you had no like you weren't conscious of it at that particular point in time but i just unlocked it now i could be completely ranting and completely insane who knows but the fact that i just did that goes to show the human brain doesn't learn the way that it's supposed to be taught inside schools okay a lot of schools are like you need to memorize these history dates you need to memorize these formulas you need to memorize and specific patterns. Um, our human brains don't memorize like that, but there is a way that you do memorize. And that's with what's called 3D spatial recognition or 3D space, space stuff. So for example, if I were to tell you, think of your front door to your house, to your apartment, to, to your hut, whatever it is, if I were to tell you, stand in front of that, and inside your mind, you could take yourself and stand right in front of that door. Nobody's ever taught you. Nobody's ever said, you need to memorize this. But if I were to ask you, what color is the door? Most of you would be able to spout off, oh, it's, it's white, it's red, it's blue, it's green. How many windows are in the door? Are there one, two, three, four? Is the knob on the left, on the right, in the center? Does it open inward? Does it open outward? Does it have a screen door? All of these things are inside your brain and you've memorized them and not once have you been told you need to memorize this. Now, granted, that's probably like, oh, code, that's that's just, that's memory from everyday life. Well, that's exactly how you memorize things, okay? So the same thing can kind of be done with Minecraft and with Roblox. <laughs> what are you talking about, Code? I'm talking, if I were to come in here, right, <clears throat> and tell you, what's the next row over? I mean, for th those of you that this isn't your first video, what's the next row? 
Like, I'm in currently inside the zombie wood. What's next door? If you said gold wood, you are correct. Now here we go. What's the next one after that? If you've been watching my videos, you should be able to tell. The next one should be... Fur. No, 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 pine. Pine, sorry. Pine and fur. So, we got the pine, we got the fur. What's after that? Walnut. Or no, no, oh, oh, my bad, my bad. Koa, because we had to go across the, the lake, right? The, across the sea. And then it's walnut, right? What's after that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Why do you have these memorized? Why are these inside your mind? Because you've been watching my videos, you know the base, you've seen where it's at, but you were able to imagine these spaces. You, you can imagine where these things are. So the same thing can be done with your math, with your history, with your, your stuff like that. If you were to, inside your mind, create a place such as Roblox, or if you physically wanted to go and play the game Roblox, or Minecraft, or any kind of creation game where you can go and create rooms, you can absolutely put little reminders in there. So, for example, um, words list and how to spell them. Go and start creating a bunch of rooms like this. Take the words list that you have and create a sign. Now this would be a lot easier inside Projute if you were to create a bunch of rooms. And you could tell yourself like floor one is exam one. And then each one of those rooms, you could place one of the words inside. And each sign that you place, you type out what the word is. That way your mind actually physically has a, a three dimensional place to go to, to recall it when the test comes along. Now it might seem like a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun and it's a different way of learning. So <sighs> again, just fun, just having fun. I'm, I'm just making small talk to try and, and make a 30 minute video that is fun and entertaining for you because my ADHD has been just carried away today. I had, uh, had my wife's birthday today. So we, uh, we cooked some steaks out on the grill. Uh, I opened up the pool. So while I'm away at work this week, she will have uh, have a place to throw the kiddos, and the kiddos can be entertained while uh, while it's summertime. Uh, there are a couple of holes. I need to patch them. Ugh. And that was my fault because I used a weed weed eater next to it. Whoops. Happens. Uh, but I did use some flex tape. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Flex tape, it does not work underwater like I thought it would. Um, he demonstrates where he takes and throws some flex tape, right? Into an aquarium underwater and it worked. I'm working with vinyl. I don't know if that's the problem. Maybe I, I need to have a glass pole. Who knows? But I probably can't afford a glass pole, so that's not an option. Um, you know. Uh, I just realized I stopped building on this thing, didn't I? Hmm. Do I have any more straights? Oh yeah, I still got some straights down here. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, uh, rotate turn. Rotate turn. There we go. Uh, if I place it like that, uh, that is upside down and backwards. So, uh, move turn turn. Like that. Oh, and that's going the wrong way. So, move. Rotate, rotate. Like that. Okay, cool. So now I should be able to just place this right. Oh, come on, come on, just get on there, please. Oh, oh, there you go, buddy. There you go. I know you're hungry. <clears throat> okay, I should be able to get the next one on there, just like so. Oh, I really do want to like just point out the obvious that if you have ADHD or if you have dyslexia, if you have something that somebody has deemed a disability do not take it at face value you have something that makes your brain unique and it's perfectly normal your brain was made to function that way now um this is true for anything that they say 
If they say, oh, Asperger's, if you have Asperger's or if you have autism, your brain was made to function that way. You're not weird. You're not different. You're made to work like that. And that is backwards. That's not the way I needed that to go. Dang it. Hmm. That's the one. That's the one I need. Is it? Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, boy. That's it. Oh, gosh. Now I can't grab it. Oh, yeah, maybe. Ha ha. Okay. So. Come on. Come on. By the way, um, if I was following you on Instagram, I may have gone through and cleared out a lot of people. I just wanted to tell you that because there was a lot of people I didn't know or like I'd follow for unknown reason. Hello, Mr. TNT Master 235. Welcome. Subscribed. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, um, like I was saying, a lot of people I went and unfollowed. Uh, same thing with the discords. Um, there was a lot of discords I left because I just I wasn't active in them. I don't want to. I don't want to be inside some place where I'm just not present. You know, I don't want to give you the false hope that I might be in there someday, active. But oh, by the way, I'm probably at lunch when you see this video come out. Let's let's go ahead and put it out. Put it out there. Is it that one? No, that's the wrong way. I need the other one. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. There we go. Yay! <clears throat> I think this is it. Oh, come on. Come on. So, I kind of want to set this up. Oh, gosh. Come on. Please! Please, just... Thank you. I kind of want to set this up where it's got two levers. I don't know if I've said this yet, but I want one lever where I can just select which color I'm going to be using. So like uh, hit the green and it will only open up the green. So I just throw it all in, not worry about it, go off on my, on my merry way. And then if I have multiple trees that I'm bringing back, like put them all down and then push the auto button and it'll turn on all the sensors and sort them out. I kind of want I kind of want to have both. But I digress. I'm 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 going to have to build a lot more before I get going on this. And I think I think that's it for today. Um I know that it seems kind of short, but I really did I I kind of wanted to come in here just kind of get my ADHD to calm down a little bit cuz I've been I've been at it all day long and I just really wanted to like talk to you guys. So happy Monday. Um, <laughs> love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the day. Um, like a good YouTuber, but it's really up to you. If you want to, go for it. If not, I'm cool with that too. You were here. You watched. I love you for that. Have a great day. I will talk to you soon. Steven! Outro. <sighs> outro. Outro. <clears throat> outro. This voice is not very easy to hold, and it's not a special effect. <laughs> Outro.